Putting all speculations about Russia's missile stockpiles to rest, a US-based think tank diligently following the war has concluded that Moscow will not run out of missiles for its military operations in Ukraine. The report further noted that Moscow will likely be able to build or acquire the long-range strike capability required to significantly harm Ukraine's population, economy, and military, despite sanctions and export regulations. To date, Russia has been relentlessly launching missile attacks on Ukraine, which have only intensified over the months. In the second half of 2022, Russian missile strikes seriously damaged Ukraine's economy and infrastructure and sought to decimate its warfighting capacity by crippling its energy infrastructure. With the help of its Western partners and the acquisition of new and advanced air defense systems, Ukraine has managed to hold its ground. However, with Russia constantly expending its missiles on Ukraine, speculations have been raised about their depletion. When Russia started acquiring and deploying Iranian-origin Shahed-class kamikaze drones to hit targets inside Ukraine, some unnamed U.S. officials and Ukrainian officers said the change in tactic was likely influenced by the Russian military's depleting missile stockpiles. By the end of the year, such speculation started gathering steam. After more than nine months of the war in Ukraine, Pentagon announced in December 2022 that Russia increasingly relies on deteriorated artillery and rocket shells, some of which were manufactured more than four decades ago. At the time, media reports stated that U.S. officials had predicted Russia would deplete its fully serviceable ammunition stockpiles by early 2023. The official warned that those stocks were rapidly depleting, likely pushing them to utilize ammunition in what one would term degraded conditions. Russia, on its part, did turn from firing the more advanced and precision-guided cruise and ballistic missiles to pulling out Soviet-era munitions from cold storage that would cause massive destruction but did not guarantee a successful precision hit. This led credence to the predictions made by officials and experts alike. And with the war entering its second year, these predictions have become more common among Ukrainian intelligence. For instance, in January 2023, Ukraine's Air Force spokesman Yuri Ainat cited Ukrainian intelligence as claiming that Russia had fewer than 100 modern Iskander ballistic missiles in its arsenal. At the time, Russia had ramped up using S-300 and S-400 missiles to conduct missile strikes on ground targets in Ukraine. This suggested that this was Moscow's new tactic to avoid using the already low supply of its precision ballistic missiles. Several such reports based on Ukraine's intelligence and Russia's changing battlefield tactics have been published over the six months of this year. It was also noted that Moscow's forces would run out of missiles in three months. However, all these months later, Russia's missile attacks continued unabated. Deputy Head of Military Intelligence of Ukraine Vadim Skibitsky said that the Russian Federation increased the production of Caliber and KH-101 aircraft missiles by three to four times. According to the Major General, the Russian level of missile production is now higher than the period preceding the start of the special operation in Ukraine. Indeed, 
For these missiles, caliber, and X-101, there was an increase in production. This is about three to four times. So, the Russians make about 30 to 40 missiles, depending on the type. Less, daggers, up to six units. The level of production is now even slightly higher than it was before the military conflict. Forbes magazine previously reported that the United States intends to get antidote for Russian missiles, caliber. To this end, on September 24, 2022, the U.S. Army signed a $237 million contract with the American firm Dynetics to build prototypes of the Enduring Shield short-range air defense system designed to protect bases from cruise missiles and large drones. It is possible that the statements of a high-ranking Ukrainian intelligence officer will become a new reason to ask Western allies for more help especially in terms of air defense systems. Colin Call, the Undersecretary of Defense for Policy, and other U.S. officials have previously anticipated that Russian stockpile rebuilding will be a lot harder due to international export regulations, particularly about acquiring microchips to recapitalize precision-guided missiles and standoff weapons. However, the recent CSIS report argues that the export restrictions and sanctions did not have the desired effect on Russian missile production. There is no one-off fix for this problem. At most, sanctions and export controls can limit the quantity and quality of strike assets Russia can acquire. Regarding speculations about Russia's dwindling missile reserves, the report contends that it's likely that Russia swiftly used up the portion of the long-range missiles that it had originally designated for its special military operation. However, despite this, Russia continued to launch missiles against Ukraine, perhaps by withdrawing ammunition from other theaters of operation.